Musically yours with your host, Latria Kimberly, on 1570 AM. Smooth contemporary gospel. Listen up. Rivera, Jesus, it's you. And guess what? I have him on the line. Hey, Sonny, how are you, darling? I'm fine. God bless. How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm so happy to have you on my show. And so this song here, Jesus, it's you. Tell me how did this song come about? What, what brought you to write this song, to sing it and to put it on your record? Wow. Well, actually, uh, my producer and my best friend, Jimmy Blackwell, you know, we've worked together for you know, several years. And, you know, for a long time, they kept, you know, encouraging me to try to do songs and do music that could be, you know, released. They wanted to share it. Mm -hmm. it. Turns out that he had the track. He just came over one day and he just gave it to me. And he said, uh, I just want you to write to it. I want you to, you know, tell me what God gives you. And this song that was birthed, you know, from that. And, um, ran with it, so we recorded it right away, and 
it's been a blessing ever since, you know. Yes, it's bless my soul. I appreciate this song. And you actually, your CD has actually been out for a while, right? Right. Uh, the name of the album is called Finally. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's been released now about, about two, three months now. Uh, available on iTunes and Amazon. And I just want to thank everybody for their support. Uh, picking up the album, sharing the album with everybody. Uh, I've been tremendously blessed by everybody for it. Okay. So, Sonny, give me a little background on you. Wow. Background <laughs> on me. <laughs> I know that's a little deep. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I mean, I was, you know, born and raised in the Bronx, of course. I uh, come from a very musical family. Um, but I gave my life to Christ when I was about 19, you know, 20 years old. Uh, a part of the Baptocostal experience, baptized believers with the Holy Ghost experience out in Jamaica, Queens, Bishop Hudson, uh, Friendship Baptist Church, and that was the beginning of everything for me there mm-hmm. you know, in terms of uh, relationship with God and the plan of salvation. And of course, the ability to sing. I used to sing R&B before, mm-hmm. and then I started singing gospel, uh, leading the choir. Uh, back then, they used to call it devotional. It was praise and worship. Right, and, right. Uh, so that was hymns and everything like that. But, mm-hmm. uh, you know, with the whole transition, you know, God had showed me what the gift was, and that was to lead people into, into the presence of God through singing and songwriting. So ever since then, man, that's what I've been doing. You know, I thank for Hezekiah Walker, Jane Nixon. Um, I've traveled around, led praise and worship, many conferences, places, so it's uh, that's about it. Okay. Well, you know, on a digress a moment, you, you were saying you used to sing R&B. Yeah. But then you 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 came back basically to where your roots your roots were from in gospel yeah. in the church. So tell me about that transition. What what? Yeah. Tell me about that transition there. Wow. Well, you know, actually, you know, a lot of times, you know, you have a gift, you know, you just don't know, you know, what is the purpose of the gift for. Mm-hmm. Uh, so back then, you know, without the knowledge of, you know, Christ and God being the source of it all, I was just doing what I thought, you know, I was supposed to be doing, which is taking out the world. Um, and it was difficult, you know, at first, you know, when I came to God and started singing gospel, you know, you're used to that kind of a lifestyle, so mm-hmm. traveling around and, you know, being around. You know, the, the ladies and then the late nights and stuff like that, the studios and mm-hmm. all that. But uh, I came to find out, though, that when you're singing uh, for God, mm-hmm. that is fulfillment uh, all, all by itself. Mm-hmm. You know, to lift up the name of God, to give Him praise, and to lead others, you know, into knowing who God is when you're singing and everything. Uh, that's my purpose. You know, mm-hmm. that's what fulfills my life. And uh, I don't complain. You know, ever since I turned to God, thank to Him. Mm-hmm. been a blessing ever since. Well, thank the Lord for that. Tell me, where are you going next? Wow. Where <laughs> am I going next? Um, well, right now, you know, I think this is something that's pretty new to me. Um, I've been, you know, singing, used to singing in church, used to singing in conferences. So to now be labeled as an artist, I, I don't like the term artist. Uh, can I consider myself to be a servant, you know? Well, thank you for correcting me. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, you know, a lot of people, they get caught up into this whole superstar thing. And, uh, you know, I think that Jesus Christ is the only superstar. Our All job right, is just to sing about the star and then draw to fans that. to him, you know, make people groupies of our Lord and Savior. So, you know, I'm having a difficult time with that. But for right now, uh, the road has been exciting. You know, like you said, the single's out there now. I've been getting a lot of uh, positive feedback. And uh, there's a, a, another project now that we're in the works of doing. It's just alive praise and worship, which is what I do. You know, I, I'm a praise and worship leader. Wow, that sounds uh, like a good one. Oh, wow. Can't that's what wait. We're very, very excited about it. That's great. Well, is there anything else you would like to tell my listeners? Wow. Well, uh, the only thing I can share right now really is, you know, take the opportunity, every chance that you have, you know, in your life, no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're experiencing know that in the presence of the Lord is the fullness of joy and in his right hand there are many blessings whatever you're dealing with just get into worship get into his presence you know however way you gotta do it if you gotta listen to music or if you gotta whatever tap into the presence of God because there it is where you're gonna find your strength especially through what we're dealing with nowadays you know and, and what we're going through 
God is our source, He's our strength. And whatever you do, always try to share the good news with somebody else. Don't keep it to yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, don't keep them a secret. Share Jesus Christ with somebody else. Help somebody else to find the same joy, strength, peace, love that we're experiencing. 